Hi boys and girls, hope you are doing well. I still miss you very much. This week I want to share with you some nonfiction books. Nonfiction means that it tells real facts or real information. So today I'm going to share with you a book called From Seed to Plant. And it goes along really well with The Tiny Seed, which I read to you last week. Uh, before we read it though, I want to do a picture walk to show you some of the features that you can find in a nonfiction book. Uh, one feature that you might find in nonfiction books are real photographs. The author often wants to use real photographs to show you what the book is about so that you can see and learn about those topics. There's also a table of contents. The table of contents tells you the contents of the book. That means what's inside. So in this book, we are going to read about what is a seed, how do seeds grow, what are the parts of a plant, what is a plant life cycle, what do plants need to grow, gardeners, and how seeds travel. And then on the last page, there's a glossary. Now in the table of contents, they will show you what page number you can find each section of the book. When you get inside of the book, there are more text features to help us understand what the book is about. So we will see headings. The headings give us a heads up of what each section is about. So when I go to read this heading, what is a seed, I know this whole section will be about what a seed is. I also see bold words. Those are dark words in the book, and those are important words that the author wants you to know. And then I also see a diagram. A diagram is a picture with labels to show you the parts of something. So this is the, a diagram of a seed. This heading tells us we will read about how do seeds grow. And there are some more bold words. What are the parts of a plant will be the next section. There are nice photographs to show the parts of a plant. Then here is another diagram of a plant life cycle. These headings say what do plants need to grow and gardeners. How seeds travel. And then the last page is a glossary. That is a list of those bold words that were in the book, and it will tell what those words mean if you don't know. So now I'm going to read to you from seed to plant. As you're listening, I want you to think about what did you already know? What's your background knowledge about plants and seeds? And then what is something that was new to you? Something that you learned that you didn't know before reading the book? From seed to plant, think about what is a seed? A seed is a part of a plant. Seeds can be many sizes, shapes, and colors. Acorns are seeds. A seed coat keeps the seed safe. Look inside the seed. You can see a new plant. You can also see the seed food. So here you can see the seed coat is on the outside of the seed and then the seed foods on the inside and then the new plant is inside the seed. How do seeds grow? Rain makes the seed soft. The sun makes the seed warm. The seed sprouts. It starts to grow. Roots grow down in the soil. The shoot grows up to the sunlight. The seed is a seedling now. What are, they, are the parts of a plant? Roots help a plant stand up. Roots take in water for the plant. The stem brings water up from the roots. The stem brings water to the leaves. Leaves need sunlight. Leaves use sunlight to make food for the plant. Flowers can be many sizes, shapes, and colors. Flowers make seeds. 
What is a plant life cycle? A plant grows. It goes through many changes. We call the changes a life cycle. So here you see the seed and then the sprouted seed, seedling, the plant, plant with flowers, plant with seeds, and then that plant with seeds will cause more seeds to grow and the whole cycle will happen again and again and again. What do plants need to grow? Plants need soil, plants need sunlight, plants need water. You can grow a plant. Gardeners, these are people in science. People like to plant gardens. People plant flowers, people plant fruits, people plant vegetables. Maybe you grow plants at your house too. Did you know how seeds travel? Some fly in the air. You probably have seen these seeds before. Some float on water and that's how they travel. Some are carried by animals, like chipmunks and birds and squirrels will carry seeds. Take them from place to place. And then there's our glossary. Tell us about the words in the book. So now I'm going to think about what did I already know about plants and then what was new to me? Well, I already knew that plants had parts like roots and a stem and leaves and flowers and seeds. But what I didn't know was that a seed has a seed coat. I didn't know the parts of a seed. I just thought a seed was a seed. I didn't know there was a seed coat around it and a little new plant inside. So I learned about the parts of a seed today. That was new to me. So maybe you can tell somebody at home what you already knew about plants and then what was new to you. Uh, for writing today, maybe you could write down a fact from the book or maybe you could draw a diagram of a plant. I actually did that. I wrote down a fact that I remember from the book. I remember the book told me that plants need soil, sunlight, and water to grow. And then I drew a diagram, a picture of a plant with labels on them to show the parts. So here are the roots and then the stem, the leaves, the flower, and the seeds. So maybe you can write about some facts from the book that you listen to, From Seeds to Plant. Maybe you can send me a picture of your work. I hope you had fun learning about plants. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.